tell us a little bit about his early life, you know, when he was born and how his early life was like, you know, what, what, how were things like when he was growing up? Well, I must say that my father was born to very poor background in Sakwa, location of Bondo. Um, and the peasantry at, the mo at that time meant that they were attacked by mosquitoes, sesa flies, you know. And uh, since they were in the lake area, many of his contemporaries did not live long enough. There were also snakes, where, and he also survived a snake bite when he was very young. So it was a very harsh condition. You could say he was a hustler. He lived the hustler life because that is now uh, a term that resonates with, with, with Kenya. He was the original hustler, but he had to work hard to survive and work hard to get an education. And it's from that background that he ended up uh, growing to the man that he ended up. Kalich has successfully traced his lineage back 17 generations. How did he do that? Where did he get that information? Because, you know, many African families, um, they are only able to trace their background only up to the third or fourth generation at best. But your father was able to go 17 generations back. That's an incredible achievement. How did he get that information? Yes, Patrick, that's an interesting question. And the book speaks a lot to that. You could say it was a way of life of the law of the, their times, where a lot of information was passed down from generation to generation. It had a lot to do with uh, people learning more about their lineage. And this helped when you were getting involved in marriage. You need to know where the woman you are marrying, how far back she, she, she came from you. You know, the laws had it that you needed to marry someone that you didn't have any close blood ties. And so, based on that, the information was always passed from generation to generation on where we came from. Like, like you mentioned in my dad's case, 17 generations. And it's something that uh, always amazes people. But for the Luo, apart from the early education that was there in Nyanza, uh, with, with the missionaries coming, there was also the folklore that was passed down from generation to generation. And that's why he was able to trace his lineage all the way till the 17th generation. In the book, it comes out clearly that there is some blood ties between the Omamo family and the Odinga family. Could you care to explain exactly how that came to be? Yes, indeed, Patrick, that is true. And this is a fact that's not known to many. But to the locals in Sakwa, location of Bondo, who follow our lineage very well, are well aware of, of these blood ties, like you've called them. So one of our forefathers, who was called Nyibinya, and from my father, it dates back 10 generations. So Nyibinya is where we meet with the Odinga family, so, because Nyibinya had a number of wives, as polygamy was the norm back then. And you could say Jaramogi Ogingo Odinga, who is the father to our, our former prime minister, Raila Odinga, is a descendant of Nibinya's wife, who was called Owak. While my father and his descendants, that is us, are descendants of his wife called Kuodi. So the Odingas, who are descendants of Owak, and us, who are descendants of Kuodi, belong to a clan called the Nibinya clan. And back there, the Nibinya clan do not marry amongst themselves because the bloodlines are very strong. So for instance, I could say in this day and age where polygamy is, is actually uh, Kenya, legal in Kenya. Illegal, yes. It's actually legal in Kenya yeah. after our... Oh, it's legal. It is legal, yes. yes it, it is, is legal it is because legal, of yes. the promulgation of the constitution. Yes. I could still never marry Raila's daughter if I was even looking for a second wife, which I'm not, <laughs> I must be clear. Yes. But because of our blood, blood ties, I wouldn't be allowed to marry uh, his daughter, even if I wanted to. 
Yeah, so that's how close it is. And that's why uh, you'd say that Jaramogi Oginga Odinga and William Odongo Mamo were actually cousins.